How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to the first video in this new series I'm starting where I show you how to get a leap motion motion sensor to interact with a Raspberry Pi. This video was requested and I know the person requested I do it in Python but it really is that much easier to do it in Java. I will try to do a Python one maybe at a later date but um, anyway this video is just to kind of show you how I like kind of how I did it because first of all anyone who thinks that you can plug a leap motion motion sensor directly into the Raspberry Pi and get it to work I gotta tell you it doesn't believe it or not my internship I did for the first three months of this summer that was the project I was working on trying to get the leap motion to work with the Raspberry Pi that's how I got really interested in the leap motion but um truthfully the Raspberry Pi just simply isn't powerful enough to power the leap motion motion sensor the leap motion gets power from your computer Raspberry Pi can't provide enough power to boot it. Other thing to consider is Leap Motion recommends you have an i3, i5, or i7 processor because this Leap Motion um, creates and analyzes about 300 frames of data per second. A Raspberry Pi is not powerful enough. The ARMHF processor on it is not powerful enough to process that amount of data. So this is my makeshift solution because I found out there was no way of connecting it directly I had to find a solution to kind of uh, make it work so this is my solution and I'm just gonna show it to you in this video to let you decide if you wanna go through this entire series or not so really what I did um, jcreate over here this IDE represents what's gonna be on the Raspberry Pi when we're done this one over here represents what's on your PC using Eclipse so delete pi.java file it's basically a server and it receives prompts from the computer sending over data and stuff from the leap motion and then the Raspberry Pi can use it so basically long story short this is a server this is the actual uh, program receiving data from the leap motion and then sending uh, you know data instructions stuff like that to the Raspberry Pi and what I've basically done here and what I'm gonna do with you guys is make a program that um allows you to control your Raspberry Pi so it's similar to the one I did in my uh, Leap Motion with Java series where you're making a mouse for your computer but uh, a little bit different um, it follows the uh, cursor position will follow your index finger and um, basically you have your thumb extended so think about it you got, a, got uh, an L shape with your thumb and uh, index finger when you bring your thumb in that's when a click happens so it's kinda like you have a gun and then you know you bring your thumb down as the trigger when you bring your thumb down that's when the uh, click happens when you, we do a circle gesture that's when you scroll up or down so it depends on the direction which direction the window will scroll up and down a swipe launches the start menu and yeah that's basically what we're gonna do I'm gonna launch this to show you I already have this server online it's waiting for gestures on port 6000 of my computer so let's run this here so it's following my index finger I don't know if um, well I guess you're gonna have to believe me um, I don't get a webcam on or anything but anyway so it's following my index finger I'm gonna bring my thumb in now and you can see it clicked click click so that's clicking if I do a circle gesture so if I do a circle gesture going from left to right it scrolls down if I go the other way scrolls up if I do a swipe it launches the start menu I can do the scrolling here as well uh, go back to my desktop so that's basically what we're gonna work on with the Raspberry Pi this video will just kinda show you what we're gonna do that way you can decide if you wanna go through the whole series or not because I know you know if it's not the solution you're looking for you might not wanna go through the whole thing to find that out that's the only reason I did this but um those of you who still think there might be a way to connect it directly there is not the leap motion simply isn't powerful enough and the libraries for the leap motion they're compiled for 32-bit and 64-bit systems so you're really out of luck um, I tried everything this was my project for three months and you know what I explored everything but um thank you guys for watching that's all I got for you guys this time next video we are going to get into doing this programming so thank you guys for watching if you're not familiar to my channel, go check out my uh, Leap Motion with Java series. It will help prepare you for this new series. But until then, I will see you next time.